everyone. If this is the first time you're here, let me just introduce myself. I'm Dr. Harshita Chaudhary. Secure a rank of 188 in NEET PG 2023 and a rank of 184 in INICT May session 2023. So with 80 days left for the November session of INICT, I believe a lot of self-doubt might be coming in and you might be struggling or stagnating at a constant GT score. So trust me, I was in the same boat and from 120 correct to 125 correct, slowly and slowly I progressed to 130, 140 and shockingly enough in the final paper when I saw my scorecard, I had 172 correct. So this stagnation of GT scores and not able to progress in your preparation is very common. Trust me, it happens with everyone. Everyone, each of us who secured a very good rank might be would surely have been struggling in their days of preparation. So I'm here today to give you one strategy which will surely be the game changer and that is my GT review strategy. In the video now, I will be telling you how I reviewed my GT. <clears throat> will in fact be showing you my own GT notebook as well and really helping you figure out where you lack and how you can improve. So let's dive straight into reviewing a GT. Firstly, I'll give you a small look at my own GT notebook and dissect for you how to exactly review a GT. So the first section is where you write about which exam you've given, which GT you've given and the source so that you can review this GT whenever you want to later from the app itself. The another section is the major exam credentials and it is very, very important. So you write the correct number of questions, the incorrect number of questions you've gotten and the questions you've left. So for example, something like 128 by 200 are your correct, 50 you've left and the rest, the 50 are the incorrect ones and the rest you've left. So I don't really write my score or my rank in my GT notebook. Why? Because my main aim is not to exactly get a rank one here, but to basically improve the number of correct questions in my subsequent GTs. So even a small increase of, for example, from 128 to 130 or from 128 to 135 would really boost my confidence and show me that I'm progressing in my exam preparation. The second part, which is the most important part of reviewing a GT is where you exactly figure out where you're going wrong. This brings me to the second section, firstly, where you write all these subjects. For example, I usually followed my sequence of the professional exams and as the subjects came by. So the first prof uh, subjects were physio, biochem, anat, then we have pharma, micro, forensic and so on. In the second column and subsequently onwards, I used to follow what I used to call the sunrise formula. Okay, so this might sound really stupid, but that's how I remembered to basically put on my main heading so that it's uniform for all the GTs I review. So the first column is the silly mistakes I do. The second is the understanding errors that we make. The third is the new questions, the absolute new information that I get in any GT. And the fourth column is basically the recall errors which I'm making. Now let's see what kind of questions come under each other and how we can solve them. So for silly mistakes, usually a lot of questions have words like not or except, for example, all of the following have Samoma bodies except. So we often while reading the questions in a hurry, we miss those words and hence we get the questions wrong. So these are absolute blunders and we can easily avoid them by just, just focusing on the paper while those three hours. So we need to basically improve our exam doing skills and we need to focus and pay full attention to each question and read it very carefully. Probably like usually when you all attempt a GT on a screen and you have the main paper also on a screen. I used to use my finger and actually read each word pointing my finger at the screen so that I don't miss out a word. You can try that or you can try any of your own things which work for you but the basic problem is during those three hours which you need to pay attention to each question. The second part is understanding errors. So understanding means conceptual errors and examples of conceptual errors are for example if you're not able to apply a general pharma formula to a 
kind of a numerical question or for example if there is a, a clinical stem and you're not able to identify what clinical stem is even asking about so basically you're not able to apply understanding or application errors are when you've read a piece of information but you're not able to apply it to the particular mcq so to avoid these type of errors what i did was you need to go to your main notes and read that topic again so read that topic again from your main notes and then practice mcqs on the same so that you know that now you've understood that concept and you can apply it as well so going to the notes helps in these set of questions the third column we have is new information so there will always be gts whether you have revised two times three times four times if you've not done the syllabus you will always find some sort of questions which are new and honestly in my opinion these are the questions which you need to worry the least about do not worry about them as every question will have uh, every paper will have certain questions but don't add all those new questions to your notes do not add all the new questions to your notes now how to figure out which questions to add to your notes is basically you should have solved the previous year questions first and you should know the previous year topics which are coming so for example if an examiner has asked a point which is not there in your notes but that point is from the topic ctev you know that this is a previous year topic and you need to know everything about it basically so you can add a new point about ctv which you have gotten from a gt to your notes only add the very important points from the previous year topics to your notes rest there will be some new questions which you can easily skip you don't have to worry about them necessarily all the time read the explanation once and then you can move forward another set of questions which we do wrong which is another blunder is actually the recall errors so recall errors basically constitute the questions which are present in your notes you have them in your notes in fact every coaching notes has them you don't have to be in the fomo that one coaching has them one coaching doesn't every coaching would have the set of topics and that factual information will be there in the notes but still we attempt those errors so these things like common tables common classifications scores something as simple as calculating the gcs so often we don't remember about the gcs or example the child book score scores like these which are frequently asked so how to avoid these errors are when you find out that yes you found out few scores which you don't remember these are the things to add to your last 10 days revision notebook so whenever you're seeing these things add them to your last 10 days revision notebook and revise them at subsequent intervals revise them for example every day in the morning for 10 minutes open one page see that same page again you will have a lot of questions of recall errors from the subjects like anatomy suppose there are particular muscle insertions also which are asked for example if you see an i n i gluteus maximus and minimus is asked a lot so you can if you don't remember that particularly which will vary from person to person you can add those type sort of questions in your last 10 days revision notebook so this is roughly how i reviewed my G gt this is the second section of reviewing your gt so after you have reviewed the gt according to the sunrise formula as i call it you can see subject wise where you lack the most in which column exactly so for example in anatomy if you've done seven questions wrong you can see whether they pertain to your silly mistakes understanding new questions or recall errors and work accordingly where we lack is basically we start seeing the whole subject from 1 to 100 of our bottom three subjects but that's now how you do it you start wasting a lot of time when you do that and lose interest eventually so use this trick which i did during my exams and let's see if that helps you also if you have more question regarding our gt preparation please do put them down as i will be answering all of them in my next video personalized for each one of you so thank you and happy studying